Hi there guys, what's up Cloak Fiends here, big shout out to my Patreons. Now this video is going to be a short one, just summarising what I think are the best fixes for the Mars Pro Grid until the fix actually arrives because um, Elego have announced, as everyone knows now, that they've basically solved the problem again because they have told us they've solved it a couple of times yet for some reason they didn't actually test the previous solution so they didn't actually work so apparently this solution has been tested well done Elegoo and um, it works apparently so um, I mean I've got to see it to believe it but let's hope for everyone's sake that this is the good thing this, you know it all works it'll be a benefit for everyone we'll be able to print amazing stuff and you'll be able to sell us amazing stuff so it's a win-win all round However, in the meantime, just taking regard for taking into consideration shipping times and stuff like that, whenever I've had the fixes sent to me before, I mean, I've only had one fix sent to me, which was this new array and kind of the lens as well. That took about a month, I'd say over a month to get to me, and it kind of, I, when I was checking the tracking, it kind of sat in the airport for about two weeks, so um, in the meantime, you know, I, I kind of had to get on with it, which is why I kind of made that sanding video because I couldn't wait just to see what would happen. And then when I got the parts eventually, then they didn't even make any difference. So I'm glad I did the sanding thing because uh, it helped me print in the meantime, even though I've ended up just like destroying my uh, LCD and, and it doesn't work anymore. So I have to wait for more parts now, funnily enough. Anyway, what I would suggest to you is that if you have a Mars Pro now and you want to get printing without those grids, you've got three options. One of the, or two of the options involve actually printing something and the other option involves the sanding. So the first option is sand it down by 0 0.9, 0 0.8 or one millimeter and then kind of diminish that grid and get kind of smoother prints. The other two options rely on printing. So if you've got an FDM printer, you can use PLA or, or whatever you want to print it, but it has to be dark material in my opinion. And um, also you have to take into consideration that PLA is not UV sensitive so it will deteriorate over time so uh, it's a short so it's a quick fix basically that it's not a long term so um the solutions are involved in printing rely on printing yourself a thinner grid and printing yourself a lower grid so essentially other people have made stuff some stuff up I'm gonna put the thinner grid again in my link of this video which I kind of had last time as well I think a couple of days ago I posted it but in my opinion, the thinner grid gave me the best results. It, it kind of removed all the scarring on the model. I mean, you can still see lines. You're not going to be able to get around that because that's a, a, a it's a design flaw basically with the actual LED array that creates those weird lines. It's like a it's like bad lights basically that create lines. So um, you can't really get around that without getting new new equipment. And apparently they're going to send us that, but I, I'm not quite sure yet. If that's going to apply to the Mars Pro users or the Mars Pro 2 people, we'll find out in the future, I guess. So, um, either way, that's my verdict. Okay, I just thought I'd like to add that if you're going to be downloading some of these grids, make sure they've got the curves on the middle, because these squares are all curved. They're not just like it's not just like a straight grid. To compensate for the shape of the lens, these have to be slightly curved. Otherwise, rather you're going to start moving the hotspots around into other places. So you'll get central hotspots here rather than at the other corners. So I just thought I'd like to add that. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the comparisons now of the the one with the stock, the stock kind of uh, setup like this one. This is a stock one. Then I've got one with a sanded. Then I've got one with the thinner array. So I'm just going to cut to that now, and then you can see that. Essentially, there's a line at the back of the head that actually cut in my model, and the only way to get rid of that was to use the thinner one. So that's why I would choose the thinner one. It might be different for everyone else. Pick and choose, try it out, and good luck. Hope it all works well for you, and uh, the fix solves everything, and this will all be in the past. Anyway, here are the results now. So my verdict is wait for any resin printer without the array do not get any printer with one of those weird arrays it's just going to cause you endless problems especially like me if you're if you're off the quality you want really perfect prints that the mars original one was giving you i bought this one thinking it was going to be better it's not universally it's not everyone accepts it's not elego even knows it's not and they've admitted it's not so take it from the horse's mouth it's not as good. Don't buy this printer. It's a waste of your money. Save up, maybe get the Mars 2 Pro or something like that. I know I'm advertising the same company, which I kind of feel stupid about, but you know, I've actually ordered the Mars 2 as well just to compare it against this one. 
because this one's going to go back if, if I'm not happy with it basically if it's not if it's producing results that I'm not satisfactory then essentially I've been missold a product and if I was you I'd return it as well so there you go that's my verdict if you're going to get a resin printer don't get one with an array and don't look at all the YouTube videos of people with large resin printers saying how amazing they are unless you see them for yourself because a lot of these people were just doing reviews to get paid or just to get free printers and they don't actually give you an honest review about the printer and the quality. They might be saying, oh look, that printer's beautiful, it's great. But they're not actually critiquing the actual result well enough. You know, they, you know, there could be problems with the result, but they're just saying, oh, you know, you know, this, you know, all printers like this have this problem, so I'm just going to conveniently not mention it, you know what I mean? But to new people like you and I, who are new to resin printers, I'd like to know about these things, you know, up front, what the problems are, what they could be. That way I would avoid buying those kind of printers that potentially have those kind of problems. So that's what I'm going to leave you on now. Get a Mars 2 Pro because that does not have an array. Ditch the Mars Pro. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like, then subscribe and um, stay tuned for my comparison on the Mars Pro and the Mars 2 Pro. So um, I've ordered one that should come in a couple of days, so uh, we'll see. I'll do a big head test. All right, anyway, see you later, subscribe, bye.